Hey guys and girls, I'm Link's Sword 1 to 3 and today are we going to start a new series which is Link Swords Gaming Show. So first of all we can start with the series called Five Nights at Freddy's. We all know the game, which is kinda scary. I tried it once and I never gonna play that shit again. As you can see here. Uh okay, this is kinda scary. Hello. Bunny fucker, are you there? Hello. Hello, come on. Where are you? <laughs> I whoa, damn! Shit! What the fuck was that? I was very scared of that game. Um actually I screamed like a little girl just of the first jump scare I got, so I never gonna play that game again. I deleted it from the hard disk and yeah it's gone now. So anyways up to now we have got three Five Nights at Freddy's. The first one which you saw I played, the next one which is a bit more complicated and the third one which is in the future. So that's cool. But now uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is revealed. Okay. Yes, you heard right. The Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is now revealed and you can see on the picture here how it looks like. This picture is official and comes from the original website. Um, so, yeah, we have something to look on, yeah. So, it looks really, really scary to me and it barely not looks like Freddy Fazbear's anymore. As you can see, on him he got tiny heads of himself hanging from him with very spiky teeth and even his mm, skin is actually destroyed and he holds his hand which is his head so he looks really scary and even on his fucking face damn man this scares the shit out of me anyways now to the most important part you can see the final chapter here in the left corner and you can see this game will come out this year, the 31 October, is that how you say it? Yeah. So, yeah, there's not much to say, hopefully this is the final chapter and we won't see any more of this shitty series because it's damn scary. But yeah, anyways, we never know when this series will end, as I saw in a YouTube comment, which I really like. Um, yeah, he got the idea about this. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty fun because yeah, the final chapter and the fourth uh, game in the series, it it's pretty much like the Friday the 13th films because the third one, no, the fourth one, sorry, is also called the final chapter. But anyways, we don't know anything about this. We only got this picture to play with. So, yeah, we can just wait and see how fucked up scary this game is. Now to the next news. During this week, and probably also a bit of the past week, um, I saw some rumors about a new Zelda game for the 3DS. I got really shocked about this because we haven't heard anything about this shit, so I, um, I was picking up some info about this and I found this. The new Zelda game should probably be The Twilight Princess 3D. Mm, the, the rumors were about mm, this conference where a guy with a street with street pass on his 3DS met another guy that just had been playing Twilight Princess 3D. It's pretty cool because yeah, we haven't heard anything about this, and yeah, as you can see on the pictures I show you here on the screen, it looks perfect and it it, it looks true, you know, legit, right? Mm, but yeah, who knows. Also, the 3DS is in German, so it's kinda hard to understand. I can't speak German, and I can't understand it. So I don't know what, what to read, though. But yeah, as we can see, it's definitely Twilight Princess. I also found a little video about this, as you can see here. Hey, 
So it's totally legit, should you think. T it's definitely two different pictures I got. One with a Kirby hat and another with a Link looking um, me. But yeah, as I was picking up info about this to make this little video, I found some very sad news. It's sadly just a hack for the 3DS some dudes made up just to see how easily it was to manipulate with this uh, feature. So yeah, it's really sad that Twilight Princess won't come out to the 3DS yet, but yeah, I think if they should remake it, like they did with the Wind Waker, it will be on the Wii U. But yeah, who knows, um, the game is still pretty new, uh, it came out in 2006, so yeah, I don't think we will see a remake of that right now. But yeah, maybe in the future, we never know. Okay, so the next news is probably not for Zelda fans, but mostly for Call of Duty fans. In the last week we got announced that a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will come out later this year. And I, I'm not a huge fan of Call of Duty, but man, this game looks fantastic. It's, it looks really cool, and I have always been um, the biggest fan of Black Ops series, of the Black Ops series, because the campaign and the multiplayer and the weapons definitely and also the zombies I really like that shit but anyways the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will be in the future just like the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Advanced Warfare mm, and also Ghost though but mm, I don't like it's in the future it's okay that some of the games uh, has its story in the future but yeah, Black Ops, I would like to see something from, more from Vietnam and Operation Sandstorm, you know, like in uh, the Iraq and all that. And probably also from uh, World War II, it could be really nice to play that um, again, it, it, I would like to see that. But anyways, I can't change on um, any rules there, because yeah, it's probably that that... Uh, sells most on the uh, market, you know, uh, when you've got two heavy guns and very spicy weapons, like, that can kill you in one shot and you can fucking jump around the fucking map all the time. So, yeah, that's just it. It's not a big news, but, yeah, it's really, really cool. You can check out the trailer uh, in the description right below. So the next news is about Silent Hill. We all heard about the new Silent Hill that should be coming out this year maybe, I, I don't know. But anyways, it were ca called the Silent Hills and yeah, we got a demo available for, to the public on the PlayStation Network mm, for some days or some hours. I don't know how long it were available, but yeah, it have been available. But sadly got it deleted due to some reasons. Yeah, I can figure out Konami and all those fucking companies, they are fucked. Anyways, um, so the demo looks really really nice and fans for sure will play it. But yeah, it got deleted as I said and yeah, that's some shitty shit. Shitty shit. Um, anyways, so now are fans selling their PlayStation 4 with the demo laying on, you know, with on their account. So it's cool enough that they are selling their PlayStation 3, no, PlayStation 4, um, to a okay price because it's a new console and it even has a unreleased uh, demo on it. So yeah, if you are a Silent Hill fan, you will definitely buy that. But the weird thing is that the price is not normal. As you can see on this picture I found, you can place a bid from $500, or you can buy the console for $1,500. That's that's a lot, man. And I don't know if it's worth. That can the fans probably probably tell me. But yeah, it's a lot of money, man. But yeah, it's it is what it is. And if you want the demo, you're definitely gonna buy it, maybe. But 
Yeah, if it were to me, I would just, yeah, say, okay, fuck it. I will find a pirate copy or anything like that. I also looked on eBay and then I found this one to $2,000. Isn't that cheap? Man, I like that. And then $40 in fucking postage. That can't be better, man. But at least the seller got 100% positive feedback. So, yeah, nothing to worry about. But yeah, man, I shouldn't talk a lot about expensive stuff on eBay. Because if you look on a new Zelda games or things like that, you will find out that Majora's Mask Adventure Set Big Box with VGA 85 plus to Nintendo 64 will cost you $30,000. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, maybe it's very rare and maybe it's oh, it's only in a limited um, it's only made thousand of them, but hell no. Motherfucking 30,000. At least it's brand new and the seller got still 100% positive feedback. But holy shit, man. That's 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 fucked up but you can also see on this picture that the shipping is quite quite cheap yeah it's only like one cent or something it's wow that's nice man so yeah go on ebay search up the legend of zelda majora's mask adventure set big box i like the word big box okay Hey, make sure to throw a like after this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to be really kind and show some real love, make sure to subscribe to my channel, Link Salt 123.